Today's Al Roker and Craig Melvin share a romantic moment while reenacting a movie scene in a hilarious live segment. On Thursday's episode, there was a story about newly released footage of the first crewed voyage to the wreckage of the doomed ship. The ship of dreams sank to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean in April 1912 after colliding with an iceberg, as made famous by James Cameron's film. The Oscar-winning film's legacy lives on, finding its way into the pop culture zeitgeist, and to Al. After the story aired, co-anchor Savannah Guthrie was supposed to introduce Al for a weather check. But, as she did, Al deviated from the script, leaving his post and approaching the anchor's table. Hey guys, I'm inspired, said the 68-year-old. As he got closer, he realized what he wanted to do. Not so obvious, with whom? What exactly do you want me to do? Savannah began to say as she spread her arms in the manner of doomed lovers Jack and Rose in the classic film. But Al wasn't interested in Savannah. Instead, he approached Craig for the sexy recreation. What are you up to? Craig sobbed before bursting out laughing. Al and Craig have a bromance that could rival any romantic movie. On yesterday's show, Al, Craig, Shanelle Jones, 44, and Dylan Dreyer, 41, got physical as they co-anchored the Start Today segment. The segment focused on workouts that couples could do together to boost their heart rate. The NBC personalities had fitness training couple Justin and Taylor Norris demonstrate types of workouts people could do with their partners as the hosts tried the moves alongside them. Dylan and Shanelle were paired up for the exercise demonstration, while Craig and Al were teamed up. Some of the exercises that the talk show hosts did together, like the alternating chest press and row posture pull, were somewhat easy for the willing co-anchors to imitate. However, as Justin and Taylor's workout moves increased in intensity, Craig became a more wary participant. When Justin and Taylor demonstrated a move that required one partner to lean into the other while the other balanced them as they leaned forward, Craig spoke out. Refusing to repeat the move with Al, Craig bluntly said, We're not doing this one. Eventually, Craig did the move with Al after his co-host insisted they try it out. Spousal warnings. Their relationship has even been noticed by their significant others. Al's wife of more than 20 years, Deborah Roberts, has been known to text Craig after cracking an age-related joke about her husband, as per hello. The meteorologist shared the revelation when he starred alongside Hoda Kotb in an episode last year. He was covering for Jenna Bush Hager, who normally presents the fourth hour of today. Al said that Deborah would warn Craig about his banter if she felt his jokes overstepped the mark. He told Hoda, every now and then Melvin will make some age joke and she'll text him. She says, you better knock it off and he will go oh I got a text from Deborah. She will come for you. Hoda also revealed that Al has received messages from his wife when he has gone too far. Deborah will text you and say pull it back, like sometimes you take something and you take it too far, she explained to viewers.